Hi guys, welcome to Alex Goes Coconuts. Today we're talking about what to bring to Walt Disney World for your baby or your toddler. Number one on the list is a stroller. You definitely want to bring a stroller for your baby or toddler. When the kids were young, I always used the Kiko Lightweight Umbrella Stroller. It has a reclinable backrest and a sun cover to protect my baby from the hot sun. I recommend a stroller that is easy to fold up, especially if you're planning on using the Disney transportation. The buses can get quite full and you want a stroller that is lightweight and compact. You'll be doing a lot of walking, so make sure the stroller is comfortable to push and rolls smoothly. This stroller comes with a bottom compartment, which is always practical for storing bulkier items that you don't want to carry in your bag. If you're driving to Walt Disney World, then you can go ahead and bring your stroller from home. But if you are flying, I do recommend you either purchase an umbrella stroller like this one, or you can rent one once you get to Walt Disney World. I recommend using an outside vendor to rent your stroller instead of renting them from Walt Disney World. The Walt Disney World strollers have a hard cover and they're not suited for babies. Number two on the list is a rain cover for your stroller. A rain cover is great for those unexpected rain showers. I recommend covering your stroller before you go onto the rides, especially if you see that it's overcast. You don't want to get out of the ride and find your stroller soaking wet and then have to carry your baby in your arms the rest of the day. Number three on the list is a sun cover for your stroller. Sun covers are great for when your baby is sleeping because it covers the stroller completely and protects your baby from the harsh sun rays. It has a netting on the side for breathability and good airflow. Number four on the list is a diaper bag. You want to find a diaper bag that hooks on to your stroller. This one is from Skip Hop and what I love about it is that you can leave it on your stroller and still access the items that you have inside your diaper bag without removing the bag. Of course you're going to want to bring some diapers and some baby wipes. Number six on the list is a dry bag. So you definitely want to bring something to put your soiled or wet clothes in. Uh, you can definitely use a ziplock like this but I like these dry bags because um, they have a waterproof lining inside, they're reusable and they save the environment. You definitely want to bring a change of clothes in case of a little mishap. I usually like to bring a short sleeve t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, a pair of shorts and a pair of long pants. You also want to carry a little sweater or a jacket for those air conditioned spaces or for the nighttime events when it can get a little bit cooler. Number nine on the list is a little sun hat, something to protect the top of your child's head in the hot Florida sun. Number 10 on the list is sunscreen. You definitely want to choose a sunscreen that's safe for your little baby's skin. Uh, this one is made from Think Baby and it's free of harmful chemicals. It goes on white, but it rubs on completely clear. Number 11 is a little receiving blanket, something to cover up your child on those cool nights. This is also good for breastfeeding, uh, to throw over your shoulder and cover yourself up while you're breastfeeding your child. I also like to bring a thicker blanket like this one, a little fleece blanket, and this is practical on those cool nights to keep your baby warm. Number 13 on the list are baby bottles and a sippy cup. So if you breastfeed your child like I did, you won't need the baby bottles, but I recommend you bring a sippy cup no matter what. You want to keep your child hydrated, you want to make sure that he drinks water throughout the day, especially in that Florida heat. This is a great sippy cup from Munchkins. It's called the Miracle 360 Sippy Cup. It's completely spill proof and what's great about it is that it has no spout. If you're traveling with a toddler, I do recommend this insulated sippy cup instead. Uh, what's great about it is that it keeps liquids cold for up to 12 hours so it's great for carrying milk and it won't spoil in the Florida heat. It has a little straw like this for easy drinking and it closes up like that, completely spill proof. You can throw it into your backpack and it won't soil everything in your backpack. Number 14 on the list are snacks. So I like these little snack containers from Munchkin. Uh, you can fill these up with Cheerios or crackers or fresh fruit. 
And what's great about them is that they have a little rubber opening at the top and the child can grab the snack very easily, but they're completely spill proof. Another obvious one that you need for feeding time is a little plastified bib like this one that you can wipe down with the cloth if the baby gets it dirty. It's always a good idea to bring a little toy to distract your child if he's being fussy. I like a toy like this that you can hook onto the stroller or onto the high chair at the restaurant. This one is great because it comes with a little hook and it's just practical. The next thing on my list is a little neck pillow. I throw this at the bottom of my stroller and I only use it if the baby is sleeping. That's it guys! That's my list of things to bring to the Walt Disney World parks for babies or toddlers. I hope you enjoyed my video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one.